Hi everyone and welcome back to Gridiron and Grace. Today we are going to do a little shopping at Hobby Lobby. I have seen uh, many people share videos of going shopping at Hobby Lobby and all of the different clearance finds that they've been able to find. I know right now Hobby Lobby is doing um, you know, a very large 75% off clearance sale. So of course I wanted to go check out um, a Hobby Lobby near me and see if I could find any good clearance finds. I absolutely love Hobby Lobby. It's one of my favorite stores but I really love whenever I can find some good clearance deals. So we're gonna go on a little shopping trip and I'm gonna show you some of the different decor options that um, the Hobby Lobby I went to today had. And then we'll come back here and do a little haul of the things that I picked up. So let's go shopping. The first aisle that I went down had lots of different sign options um, and different like wall decor pieces. I thought that that little cutting board um, stand was cute. They had lots of little um, signs that you could use as filler spots. So I'm just showing you some of the options that they had right here. They also had a decent selection of wall baskets, not just on this aisle, but also throughout the store. I thought that these were really cute. I just didn't have anywhere to put them, but I thought they were a really cute option. And for a good price, I think they were on sale for like $7 or $11. And then they also had a small selection of candlesticks and also candles. that these mustard colored vases were really really cute um, I don't decorate with that color in my home but if you do I think those were really good price that they were on sale for like six or seven dollars they also just had some different um, unique ornate pieces on this aisle as well I did like this little set of three glasses on the bottom on this aisle they also had more um, home decor signs, like little signs that you could see it. I thought this saying was really sweet. And they also had different little picture frames and just some more like coffee signs, kitchen signs, and just signs to go all through your home. I also noticed a lot of beach and lake decor, so if you're in the market for things like that, they had a good selection of those kinds of things. They also had some um, little wall decor, wall embellishments. Again, more just little signs. They had a lot of like little things. Um, they also had some different laundry and bathroom signs. I thought that some of these were a really good price. They were all usually um, between about 10 to 20 dollars but on on the clearance aisle they were on sale for probably four to ten dollars so i thought that was a pretty good deal on some of those and i thought that they had a pretty good selection to choose from of this type of thing I will say that to me the best sale they had going on were from lamps some of these lamps were a regular price $140 and they were on sale for $19.99 $29.99 um, so if you are in the market for lamps uh, they had a pretty good selection of those and also some different outdoor light options as well so I thought those were a really good price they also had a really good amount of picture frames some big or some small some had the glass in them and some were just the frames and these smaller ones were on sale for like four dollars and the bigger ones were like 11 or 12 so I thought that was a really good price on those as well
not only did my Hobby Lobby have the clearance aisles that had items, but I noticed that all throughout the store, when I would look down aisles, I would see lots of little orange stickers, which means clearance. And they had a lot of baskets that were on clearance. I don't know if they just have so many items, they couldn't fit them all, you know, in the regular clearance section. Um, so if you go to Hobby Lobby anytime soon, make sure to, uh, you know, that you look down other aisles because they had a lot of clearance items just mixed in with the regular decor. Uh, I really like these tall baskets on top and I thought they were a good deal. Um, lots of things like this were on sale for, you know, under $10. So it's a really good deal if you are looking for anything like that. Um, I've noticed some baskets that i have paid full price for um were now marked on clearance so isn't that usually how that happens but they did have a good selection of baskets and um things for like gallery wall basket walls on sale They also had a few different options for shelving that was on uh, clearance or, you know, like you could hang things on shelving with hooks. They did have a pretty good um, selection of that that was on sale. And I found some anywhere between eight and $20 and sometimes they can cost close to 40 or 50. So I thought that was a good deal on that. I thought this basket was really cute, but the top of it was like a little warped. It didn't fit on there or I probably would have picked that up. I really liked that basket. And here's just some more like organization type things, um, you know, but could be used as decor as well. They had a lot of those items on sale too. I thought that this bread basket was a really good deal. It was on sale for $13. And also these other little white containers were a little under 10 and a few more um, signs. I also really thought this was a good price on the mirror. I love the little circle one. It was under $10. So they did have a few mirror options. And they also had a lot of calendar options. Um, and things like that on this aisle and this was just right in the middle of the regular decor So if you are in the market for like a cork board or calendar to get yourself organized They were having a good sale on these The last aisle that I found some clearance items on were where they had their bigger home decor signs and they had several of these marked down on clearance as well. Okay, we are back home now and I hope that you enjoyed coming along with me as we did a little bit of shopping. Um, at the Hobby Lobby that I went to, they really only had about one, one and a half aisles that actually had um, the clearance things in that one section. But as I was Strolling through the store, when I would look down aisles, I would see lots of little orange stickers on just random home decor items. And so I did get some footage of that while I was out too, but not every aisle uh, that I went down was, you know, in the clearance section. It was just kind of mixed in throughout the store. And I've seen some other people share that too, that you just kind of have to look everywhere because I guess they just have so many items that on clearance right now, they couldn't just fit them on one or two clearance aisles. So I hope that you enjoyed coming along and seeing the different options that they had. I saw that they had a lot of um, beach decor, like beach house, lake house decor, um, as well as like lamps, photo frames, pictures, things like that. So I wasn't really looking for anything in particular. I just wanted to go and see if there was anything that kind of caught my eye that I wanted to bring home. So I did pick up a few things. So I want to share that with you now. The first thing that I picked up says, blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Psalms 33, 12. 
and I'm planning to use this whenever I decorate for my patriotic summer decor. And this was regular price $8.99 and I got it for $2.24. So I thought that was a pretty good deal and it's a pretty nice size. I'm not sure where I'll sit this yet, but for that price, I decided to go ahead and pick it up. I want to do a whole Hobby Lobby patriotic shop with me, uh, maybe a little bit later in the month, but I wanted to go ahead and pick this up while I was there today because I thought that it looked really cute and I love that verse. So that's the first thing that I picked up. And these next items are just some random ones. I did actually find these on the clearance aisles themselves and I found the blessed is the nation sign on there as well. But this next one I got is just this black home sign and it has the little greenery plants on there. And this was regularly $4.99 and I got it for $1.49. So I'm not sure exactly where I'll put this yet. I might put it somewhere in my hutch um, because it has the black and white. So I think that will flow well with my Ray Dunn items. And I like to mix greenery in there as well. So that's kind of what I'm thinking for this sign, but for under $2, I thought it was cute. So I picked that one up as well. And the next one I got, I thought this was really cute and different. I really liked the little embellishment on the top. And it's just this little table decor sign that says thankful and blessed. Um, I like the color of this, but I thought this up here was really cute. So this might be something that I take to school. I haven't decided yet, but it was regularly $6.99 and I got it from $174. So I thought that that was a good deal. And like I said, I thought it's just a cute sign. These are good just to have like little knickknacks just to sit in as filler spots. So I really like to find things like that when I can. So I picked that one up as well. And the last thing that I got, I actually didn't find on the clearance aisle. It was one of the last aisles that I went down. I always love to go look at like the baskets and things like that. I am definitely drawn to that kind of thing. I don't need any more of them, but I definitely always like to go check it out. So I found this on that aisle and it was regularly $14.99 and I got it for $3.74. And it's a pretty good size. Um, I don't know exactly what I want to do with this yet. My plan, I think, is to put it as like a background up against something and sit something in front of it. I like to do that. Like, I feel like something just a plain background with something, even like this sitting in front of it, just makes the item that you place in front of it pop more. So, that is my plan for this. Again, I don't know if I'll use it at home or at school, but for that price, I decided to go ahead and pick it up and I could find somewhere to use it for sure. So that is all that I picked up. My total was $13.48 and also included in this, I bought Rowdy a $2.99 bag of gummy bears. So actually I spent even less than that on all this course. So probably about $10 for all these items. So I thought that was a good deal and it was worth going to check it out. Um, if I had been in the market for bigger items like lamps and things like that, they had a very large selection of those for really good prices. Um, but I just wasn't looking for any of that today. But if you are looking for things like that, they do have a good selection of those items as well. So I hope that you enjoyed coming along with me and doing a little bit of shopping and seeing what some of the um, items that they have for sale right now are. Um, if you're new, I would love for you to subscribe. I absolutely love doing shop with me's and hauls. Um, I love seeing what other people find in stores and seeing if the stores that I go to carry the same items or if it's a little bit different. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed it as well. If you're new, I would absolutely love for you to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.